Bulls swung by and uh, say hi to Lucille here. Good morning, Lucille. We're, we're off to St. Simon St. Jude and Bell River for some steeple chasing. Yeah, good to see you. Enjoy the day. Get ready, Father Paul. We're going to do some steeple chasing. Steeple chasing? That's today? Time to put down the phone. Oh, Here we go. Oh man, I gotta get ready. Here. I gotta get ready too. Get my, uh, Grab my rosary here. It's gonna be a hot one. Uh, don't forget your uh, some water. Gotta get my water yeah. bottle. Water and check out the shepherd's kitchen for some food for the way. Yeah, I'm gonna go say hi to Jesus. Father Mark, get ready. We're heading out for steeple chasing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. We need some stuff from the shepherd's kitchen to keep us uh, nourished for the journey here. Okay, what are we going right. to get? Uh, some fruit. Fruit is good. Fruit is good. That's good. That's good. What do we have here? Oh. Maybe we'll just go with the banana over here. Cheryl, we're going to be out for the day. We're doing some steeple chasing, okay? I know. Well, have fun. We'll do. Don't get in too much trouble. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> You guys should bring yogurt. You'll like it. <laughs> Looks great. There we go. Wow, look at this. Whoa, we got the Buick here. Always enjoy riding this thing. Oh, for sure. Here we go. And uh, there he this is. way there he is. Here we go. All right. Oh, the keys to the Buick Kingdom. There we go. Look at this. We'll, we'll swing by and uh, say hi to Lucille here. Good morning, Lucille. So. We're, we're off to St. Simon and St. Jude in Bell River for some steeple chasing. Awesome. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you, yeah. Enjoy the day. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, trying to now, yes. Very good. All right, okay, Keep good. cool. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard? No, I'm already sweating, so that's okay. <laughs> They're working on the roof there at Ecos Saint Antoine. That would be very warm. Too warm for me to do. There we go. It's quite the warm day, but a nice day to travel. Yeah. Definitely. Road trip. Well, we should say a prayer, just asking our guardian angel to uh, accompany us on our. Uh, road trip here today for the first uh, episode of Steeple Chasers. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of this day, for the gift of our faith, and an ability to meet and uh, share in the different parishes that form our family of parishes. We ask your blessings on our journey. Bring us always safely to our destination, and may our guardian angel, St. Christopher and St. Raphael, accompany us on the journey. As we ask all of this through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, that's good. Well, we're going to be passing our Good Shepherd Parish here, going along the way. We'll have to wave to Anna and Janine and uh, Gerald who may be in today, Betty and Chris. The whole family. That's right. Here we go. Are you comfortable? Yep. Here we go. 
Here's Good Shepherd. We'll wave as we go by. on the wall Canadian Saints cool yeah a bunch of the Canadian Saints I mean this was done a few years back but uh, there's a few more to add now but kind of the uh, the older ones are right here that's awesome all French like no. that really oh can Terry yeah. take a tweet on hi 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 I'm wondering, would you mind giving us a little bit of a tour of the church? Sure. Let us know any Great. fun things. I'm going to follow around this way. because. Oh, perfect height for me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Which statue is Saint Simon and which one is Saint Jude again? That's really confusing. <laughs> 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 okay, that is, uh, that is Saint Simon and this is uh, Saint Jude. Okay, that's why I asked you that question. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So my, 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 my cue is the one who is quoting the Bible. He is uh, Saint Simon. Yeah. And uh, the, um, the other guy is uh, Saint Jude. Saint Jude. In France, uh, St. John de Brébeuf, in fact, was a professor at the University of Paris. And they left everything behind to come and bring the faith here to Canada, to New France at the time. And they had a great missionary model of not imposing the faith on people when they arrived here, but living with the First Nations people in Canada and learning from them, learning the customs, learning the language, learning the ways. And uh, in doing so, they get garnished a lot of confidence and a lot of good friendships with the First Nations people here. So they had a missionary model that was very, uh, very inviting, very tolerant, uh, not imposing or forceful. And uh, they, they did very well with the Huron nations and uh, bringing the faith to our, our country. And so they're great examples for all of us on having that missionary zeal as missionary disciples and in order to bring about the faith and peace in, in, our, in our land. So they're, they're great patrons for us. Yeah. I'm noticing all the stations of the cross, Father Anthony, are in French. Oh, they are, they are. And this, this community was at one time a French community as well, correct? Mm -hmm. It was, yeah. You probably still have a lot of francophones in the area. Very nice. I like the pillars. I know, aren't they cool? Yeah. But there is no air conditioning in the church, so... Uh, I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, little bit of penance, a little bit of penance. Uh, Hi, Jesus! <laughs> that, that's right. Here, 
church community and for our future family of parishes as well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from our evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless our thou, my son, and bless us as we fruit of thy Holy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for what thou man. Simon and St. Jude, pray for us. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for welcoming us, Father Anthony, here Thank to the you. parish. And how do you guys come here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Very good. Yeah, just wondering if you'd be willing to share a bit about your own vocation story, how God led you to the priesthood and uh, ministry. Sure. Nice, he's here. Um, well, um, I joined uh, the seminary when I was uh, 15 years old. Oh wow! Yeah, like I mean, my parents were uh, my role model, and the two of my sisters are nuns, so they mm -hmm. they had a great you know influence on me uh, to discern my vocation to priesthood. And then I completed all my training uh, back in India, long 13 years, and then I was ordained uh, in 2002, uh, January 2. So it has been uh, 18 years uh, since I've been ordained uh, a priest. And uh, I spent you know, the first eight years uh, back in India. So I have a, a master's in philosophy. So I was teaching philosophy in our uh, philosophy uh, back in India. Uh, and I was a uh, rector of our uh, minor seminary for uh, three years. Oh, I also wow. taught in one of our schools you know, just for a year. And uh, I came to the diocese in 2010. So our, really, our community is a, is a missionary community. So we have priests uh, working in many countries in the world, like uh, US, UK, uh, Africa, Germany, Switzerland, and of course here in Canada. So we actually send out priests, you know, wherever you know uh, the diocese needs a priest, just because we are a missionary congregation. The name of your community is the Missionaries of Saint Teresa. No, it is a congregation of uh, Saint Teresa. Congregation. Yeah. So I've been here since 2010. So Father Anthony, mm -hmm. how did you know you were called to the priesthood? Well, um, my parents used to go to you know uh, the mass uh, every day, every day. My father was used to you know he he would be up you know like 5:30 in the morning. And then uh, he would read the Bible, you know, at least for a half an hour. And then he would wake up my mom and then he would <laughs> wake me up, you know, which I didn't like, of course, you know. <laughs> waking up, you know, early in the morning around <clears throat> 6 because the Mass in our parish was at uh, 6.30. So they would always bring me to Mass every day, you know. And, uh, you know, he initiated me uh, to many of the activities, you know, in the parish. So I actually grew up uh, with, uh, you know, priests and, you know, nuns uh, in our parish. So that's how I was, you know, gradually uh, introduced, you know, to the uh, discernment of a vocation, you know, to priesthood. <laughs> Yeah, this is our uh, gathering area on the weekend. Yeah. 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 Your what? Oh, right. Arabic? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here we go at the Tim Hortons drive through on uh, Central and one of the side streets. Uh, Father Paul, what are you going to get? You know what? I'm thinking uh, BLT. I haven't had that in a while. And maybe uh, get, I think it comes in a combo. So get a, get a coffee and a little donut. A donut? 
What's your favorite donut? No, I really like strawberry vanilla. Oh, I don't think I've ever had that. Strawberry vanilla, I like all of them. Strawberry vanilla, I can't go wrong with that. Nice. What are you getting, Father Mark? Um, Time is of the essence now. Here we're coming up to the screen. Go! Here's the sign. Ici à Saint-Jérôme, nous sommes, nos portes sont ouvertes et on a la messe maintenant. Oh, ça me donne beaucoup de plaisir de célébrer avec une congrégation. Yeah, half of it's usually flooded. <laughs> really? Yeah. That'd be great for a soccer game down the road or who knows. Oh, yeah, and uh, have a picture. this picture, if you can see that, that's, uh, well, I was an altar boy, I think I was eight years old in this picture. And uh, that was that holy name of Mary. Okay, in Windsor. In Windsor. St. Jerome there, Father. Look at that. Where? I got this 
Oh, well, these guys over here. Well, St. Francis, where are you? Yeah, St. Francis of Assisi there. And then St. Francis. Very cool. Thanks so much for welcoming us here at Paroisse Saint Jerome. And as we're traveling to the different parishes and sites here, we're just inviting the pastors to share a bit about their vocation story. So, how God called you to the priesthood. I know you grew up here in Windsor, so if you're just able to share a bit about your call and vocation. Okay, well, I grew up in Windsor and I showed you the picture of my brother and brother Brian, who is almost like a brother. Yeah. He had practically lived at our house, was a friend of my brother's. And they, uh, they both entered the seminary in 59 and uh, both were ordained. Uh, I remember in grade one, my grade one teacher, I still remember her name, Sister Ernest Armand. Wow. And uh, she uh, was asking us what we were, you know, what we were going to do. I went to the French school here, St. Abaya, and St. Abaya, uh, we were four grades in the classroom, so. Four grades in classroom, and she was asking us what we wanted to do with our lives, grade one. <laughs> and uh, I said, I want to be a priest. And uh, then my brother entered the seminary when I was uh, nine years old. I just turned nine. And uh, after that, everybody would pat me on the head and say, are you going to be a priest like your brother? So by the time I got into high school, it wasn't such... A, so high on the agenda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I went to York University. I was there for two years. I was enrolled in the, uh, an honors program for uh, uh, economics and urban planning. And my third year, my, after my second year, I didn't return there. I was, wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. So I went to St. Peter's Seminary. Mm -hmm. At that, after a year there, I knew that I wasn't called to be a priest. <laughs> Wisest decision I ever made, uh, because I, I really uh, wasn't prepared for it. So yeah, I bummed my way around Europe for three, three and a half months. Wow! And uh, had to come back for my my father had a stroke, so I came back. Mm. Then I worked. At various jobs. I worked for Ford's for a while, couldn't stand that. Mm -hmm. uh, went to, uh, came to London and uh, was, I worked uh, at the uh, detox center when it was first founded. Mm -hmm. Did that for about six, seven months. Mm -hmm. And I, I worked at various jobs after that. I had actually stopped going to church six years. Wow. And then life started to fall apart. I had shares in a business that was failing. I owed money. I had, I had been in a relationship that failed. Everything was going bad. Mm. And uh, after about three months of it, I realized that I was doing something I hadn't done in a long time. I was praying. Mm -hmm. And so I started to pray. I started to go back to church. And, uh, I was looking, I was wondering whether I would go to the West Coast, start over. Mm -hmm. I made the terrible mistake of going to the seminary for a weekend retreat. <laughs> and uh, when I finished the retreat, I was... Uh, I mentioned that, you know, I'm, I'm really wondering whether I've got a call to the priesthood. And uh, uh, Father Flaherty, who had directed me, took out an application and said, I just happen to have these ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
once again, we're going to offer an Our Father, Hail Mary, and Glory Be for the parishioners and parish team here at St. Jérôme and the Paroisse St. Jérôme. We'll pray it in French and, uh, and ask God's blessing upon our family of parishes as well. Amen. Merci. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Merci, mon père. Merci right. Good. Coming. So we're heading back out now. Come follow me. to Oxley here we've taken a little detour and uh, to Harrow because life sometimes brings us detours uh, St. Anthony of Padua Parish here in Harrow as we've just stopped in front and seen the steeple here beautiful uh, day once again and spot here uh, we'll just continue on Father Mark see the rectory the rectory right next door here beautiful spot Father Rick Janice pastor just retired from here there this past month in July and so they're now part of the family of parishes with St. John the Baptist in Amherstburg. Over here, St. Anthony's Grade School on the other side of the street. So, beautiful day. Here we go, Oxley. Here's the uh, grapes for the Oxley Winery. Fairly new winery, actually. Take the next left on Victoria Street. Family Retreat House has been in the diocese for many years, over 70 years now, started in the 1940s. It's a retreat center. In 200 meters, your destination will be on the right. Before that, people from Windsor would go to Detroit or to Newfoundland for retreats and had the great desire as a lay movement and the people in the area. Uh, Steve Oxley Winery. Retreat house. I always love here at the entrance, you're standing on holy ground, reminding us of the thousands of people who have made retreats, spiritual retreats, and journeys here. And everything's uh, the grounds are soaked in prayer. Yep. And uh, beautiful poem here of the inscription on the garden gate that was made there by a couple who made retreats here. Yeah. Beautiful 
Statue of Holy Family here. Is, uh, that was not here in my time, or at least in this location. <laughs> not in this location. It used to be somewhere else there. Yeah. There's been a lot of renovations here at the Holy Family in the last Who's two years. Who's that guy over there? Look at that. It's our very own deacon. <laughs> <laughs> Deacon Frank Welcome LePay is the administrator family. here at Holy Family Retreat House, so we'll let him give us a grand tour Whoa. here. Oh, the one and the only. There he is. Hi, guys. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you all. A whole yeah. bunch of you. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, Catherine. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Mark. Is that Doris? Doris, yeah. Hey, Doris. Hey, Doris. Hi. Doesn't that look like just the perfect oh, place to sit like down and enjoy the water over there? It is. Yeah. It's pretty romantic over there. So what were you doing today here? A little odds and ends? Yeah, we just, you know, come and check on the place. We're, we're closed right now, open hopefully in September, but myself or Steve, we always stop out at least once or twice a week just to check on the property and make sure God's still here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't let us down. I was just sharing that they, everyone on the, the, the gate there is we're standing on holy ground here of so many people, thousands, right? Have probably made oh. retreats here since the beginning of this place. Yeah, thousands and thousands. It is truly holy ground. If you take a walk around, you're going to see different spots. Did you, you were pointing at the statue here? Yeah, Father Paul asked, it wasn't always here, right? No, it was actually uh, up on a, a table back here, but we thought we have the Holy Family here to welcome people as it comes. Perfect. So the Holy Family welcomes you, right? Yeah. So then there, they had a, the, is, it, is it called the Piata? Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Piata was against the fence where that pile of stone is, so we said, ah! Why is that over here? So we put that on that altar. Nice. And that that's worked out really well. Well, come that's on awesome. for a little walk. Yeah, wonderful. Take we'll do. We'll do. So we visited St. Simon and St. Jude Parish this morning in Bill River yeah. and then St. Jerome's. And uh, made it through the traffic through McGregor. Oh. And walk the road and come down here. <laughs> this is my favorite tree. Oh, yeah? Isn't that pretty? Look at that. There's a pretty good vista right there. Really? And it's always this noisy. <laughs> nice. Just the birds. The beauty of silence and of God's creation. Oh, yeah. You know, even if you're not into that, by the time you're here for one or two days, you're into that. <laughs> <laughs> Rose on you, eh? Oh, yeah. Here we have our dining, dining facilities over here. Love all the Muskoka chairs out there. Yeah, actually, uh, we, there's certain times we have them all around the fire pit. We've never had a fire pit here before, but we brought one up top. Look at that. Yeah. There's one down at the beach, but you need to be in pretty good shape to get back up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was just sweating. I went down there to check on things. <laughs> we have the little chapel over here. Yep. Yeah. There's lots of shade here. Yeah, so there behind. Oh, yeah, it's on the altar there. So it actually gets more use. More in view. Yep. Very neat little chapel. I probably one of the few chapels in the, in the diocese. Yeah. You got one out at Berlin, probably. And, you know. Look at that. Yeah, steeple. Awesome. Yeah, you guys are on. Oh, that's right. We're doing the steeple tape. There it is. There's a, there's a beast. There you go. And the bell in it too. That's right. You can still ring the bell, right? Oh yeah, the bell works. Okay. Yeah. Want to come inside for a minute? Yeah. Oh, it'd be great. Jesus. You can say a little prayer for everybody who comes here. academic year as a seminary and all of us would have our year-end retreat here at Oxley so this is just such a sweet little chapel you know yeah and it has just a nice little cottagey yeah, moment, right? yeah it's perfect yeah I've always been amazed what always kind of gets me thinking in this image here is the contrast on the sides you have you know where it's Mary Magdalene like listening to the cross yeah. listening to the love of God and and the, the women there our blessed mother 
and then everybody kind of distracted on this side, playing dice for, you know, rolling the dice and kind of focused on Jesus. And then what happens when we kind of get distracted or whatever mm -hmm. they're talking about? Well, yeah, so who's, who's all there, Father Paul? This is uh, St. Marguerite Bourgeois, donated by Father Richard Hurdle. And Pope St. Pius X, St. Marguerite Duville as well. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Nice. Praying unique, with the saints. A unique statue of Mary, too. Just kind of the household chores of washing dishes. Right? Of, uh, yeah. Kind of ordinary life. And Joseph with the hammer. Joseph with the side. water. Yeah. And when, you, and when you leave, there's actually, uh, whoever the artist was did all, all three, and I'm thinking this as well. There's uh, Christ the King statue on your way out, which oh, most yeah. people miss on the way in. Okay. Yeah. So it might want to be, yeah. take take a peek at that. Good little hiding place there. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. another another little place you can rent for a little retreat. So neat. So I found this in the basement, and wow. didn't, I, I've asked around. I don't know where it came from, but I brought it home, made a frame for it, and it's going to hang right here in this window permanently. Oh, that's nice. going to be so nice. Yeah. nice. Have, you, have you got a Have you got a minute in you to lift sure. that up? Sure. Okay. We're going to go right up in front of that window. Lift with the legs. Right, right to the bottom. Okay, right to the bottom. Right, no, right there. Right here. Yep. We're going to show people Father Kim works. <laughs> so this is obviously the meeting room with the kitchen. We can have a uh, just relaxed time as well. Nice. And I just want to show this is really awesome, this little kitchen area. I've had a conference in here before. It's just so nice to have everything right where you needed it. I approve of this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's been KK approved. There. Now it might sound like something kind of pretty weird, but expenses, we had to replace like 40 toilets. Wow. So we replaced all the toilets in the place because they're all the same age, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. So we replaced them all and you know, uh, we've got the right height type thing because back in the day down below, now you have people that are seniors or whatever. And it just worked out better. It might, it's, like, it's one of those crazy things that you don't think about. Yeah. So they make all the difference when you have somebody staying here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And then people will come and, nice, finally you got that done. <laughs> and that's been a gift having Steve on staff. Steve trying to help us out with that. So, 16 rooms in here. And this is one of the suites. It's a pretty nice suite. Is this uh, Emmanuel? Yes, this is Emmanuel suite. Yep. I'm going to take you back in here. All right. Bedrooms over here. Very nice. Yeah, so here's here's the thought here. The sitting area. If you want to talk to somebody, spiritual direction, that sort of thing, this is here. Yeah. We have a smaller group here. If you have a, uh, a leadership group that want, need to get away from their students or away from the people that they're serving on the weekend, they can come and have their meeting or whatever. Meeting mm -hmm. here as well. Over here, this little office is where I hang my hat once in a while. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. So I'm here. The inner it. life of Deacon Frank the right. Pan. There we oh, are. Look at the flower. I never had a never had a flower on that thing. 
Look at uh, the, yeah. Afri the African violets are doing well, eh? Yeah, but not now. That's right. And Anita is over to my right. That works out nicely. Right. So then what we're going to do now, and I'll take you into the other, other part, and I think this is pretty exciting. We have three bedrooms upstairs, and we want that to be a place where maybe the bishops could come, or anybody that wants to come. It's a gorgeous view upstairs. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, and they're, and they're very, very nice rooms. Right. But also, we would take and close and lock this door, and this becomes a suite. I'll give you an idea. Look at all this art, my goodness. Some of the artwork that's just been recently donated. Wow. Ooh, look at that. There's some neat pieces here. This suite, they would have their own kitchen, their own bedroom, living room, and their own bath. And their own way to get in and out, yeah. which doesn't yeah. intersect with the rest right. of the yeah. office. They'd have their their entrance, we close that, we have our own house. That's really nice. Yeah. Beautiful. So the high school students did these? Uh, no, these were actually from, I gotta look up her name. That's one of Mother Teresa, that's a powerful one. So Sandra Van Ray, a Chatham artist, she's in the back here. She's the one that did all of these pieces wow. and donated them. Mm. Beautiful. Very nice. But the whole point is we have to find the spot. Yeah. So Deacon Frank, uh, each place we've been visiting, we're uh, just asking people about uh, their vocation. So just maybe in a, a minute, a minute and a half, uh, how you came to serve uh, as a deacon of the church and as a husband and a father. Ah. <laughs> well, you know what? I've always been in love with the with my, my church, my faith. And it was just laid on my heart. And I talked to my wife about it, about becoming a deacon. And honestly, she said, not right now. And then several years later, it popped up and she said, well, let's go look at that. And then the rest is history, as you say. But when we get, we found out that the deacon is to serve. And what, what better way to serve than my own parish and to be able to serve here as well. Yeah, so that, sure. that's that been that's been a real blessing. Th this is not a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the realities it, of everyday it life, our, right? It's our reality, and I'm grateful to have it some, <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, it's been awesome here oh, for yeah, sure. to, to do that. And you see people in a different way. So, Absolutely. yeah. Well, we're.